Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome to Snowtopia, where your boy is about to attempt to build his very own ski resort in the mountains. Now, how well this is going to go, I do not know, but we're going to see how well I can kind of progress. See if I can actually turn a profit and most importantly, give our customers and guests and uh, whatever you want to call them the most fabulous five-star experience the world has ever seen. Now, guys, if you do enjoy this, please make sure you smash the like button down below. If you want to turn into a series, let me know in the comment section down below too, and we'll do just that. Now, haven't played the game, seen very little, like the majority of games that I play right now. I'm going in completely blind. But we can see right now we have a bunch of different, I, I would I assume, maps to kind of low-key choose from right now. And the difficulty score shows throughout them what needs to be done. So clicking on it, it kind of changes from what I see right now. The access to ski zone. So what does it? The higher it goes, the better. Is that what it is? I don't know. But Mount Alpha, I think this would be a good place to start, right? I think it really would. So um, ooh, I feel for some reason I feel really Christmassy. <laughs> I don't know. So. Many features have been added or changed in this version of the game. We strongly advise you to follow the tutorial to learn about them. We'll do just that. So let me just get to grips then with everything right now. She says, hi, what are you doing here? Out in the middle of nowhere. Are you lost? There's something. There's something. There's nothing but snow around here. What am I doing here? I like starting the day with a nice bracing walk in the icy air. I mean, that person does look really wrapped up right now. Oh, so you want to build a ski resort of your dreams? In that case, you've come to the right place. Right. Okay, appreciate it. So this is, I can now rotate a turn. I can see things. It's all pretty good. A uh, little kind of goals got to do around here right now. So zoom in and zoom out. So that looks like it's the main building. We got some lodges over here where people can kind of, um, you know, relax and chill out, rent out a little resort before you go skiing. Thank you. That's the main entrance, and I, I, I'm going to assume that this dotted area here is what I own for building on, and I have to progress a lot further, so there's a lot we've got to do, and there's a lot of good-looking hills and mountains. This is kind of crazy. So it says, open the game help. Right. Is this the game help? Ha-ha! Very good. Well, not bad for a start. How dumb would you look if you didn't know how to get there? Listen, right. <laughs> I almost... I always look dumb. Leave me alone. So this sort of stuff that we do oh, kind of gives the ability to understand how to do it. Uh, ski circuit in area. That's pretty much what I thought it would be. Uh, building more lodges. Drawing slopes. Okay. That will help us out if we ever get stuck. But um, I think we need to kind of build our first few things, right? A whole team has volunteered to help you out. Now they need materials and logistics. Once you have a functional builder's lodge, you can construct the rest of your ski resort appreciate it so open the construction menu that's okay there we go i need to build set the builder's lodge there we go and build the builder's lodge so can i it has to be on this right now if i look at it generically i mean i don't know if we can kind of go down that way but it's like a really nice slope going down so i want to build it in an area that's not going to be blocking anything so maybe there because i got to think logistically in terms of coming down on a slope. I could build it here. Do you know what? Is that too daunting? You know what? No. I'm going to build it here. There we go. Boom. So there you go. Everything is set to launch your first construction site. Take a moment to stand back and com contemplate the mountainside. Imagine the magnificent ski resort that will soon be sitting upon the top of the, you know, the slopes. And, okay, right, I got you. I got you, boy. So, ooh, hey, snowflakes. No, holy snowflakes. I can't English today. Um, I thought he was calling me snowflakes. So, um, right, sweet, mate. So, I've got to build a ski lift, build a ski slope, uh, greet your first skiers, and then select the skier. So, we're actually going to get our first peeps coming in, right? This is interesting. So, in the grand scheme of things then, like I keep saying, I need to look at what's possible and how we can create a slope. There's some dramatic kind of drops down. I don't know if we kind of go over the top to begin with or we'll just kind of create like a really basic one. So, build our first ski lift then. So, this is slopes lifts. Here we go. 
So, okay, so we have the option to build a one-person fixed grip surface tow. Maximum length, 150 meters. Capacity, 13 skiers an hour. That seems really low. Modest, but very charming. This one does also maximum 30 skiers. 13, sorry. This one does 18. Uh, but that these two, this one here out of all of them can go a little bit further. But it has a minus 20 appeal. But I feel like that might be the better one to go with. So if I got them up to, because it looks like a little bit of a platform up there. Right. I could bring them down this to the resort. And that could be our first little ski slope. So if I was to do that then, you would kind of want the, the ski lift to kind of go there up to here. Should I bring it to about there? Oh damn, have I just built my first ski lift? So I need the builders, I don't know how we kind of get them out. So, do I need to hire people? Volunteers? It's open. Construction progress. Are we building this? I don't know what's going on right now. Do we have anybody around? Is there anybody? I may, oh, I may have been in play mode. Am I in play mode? I mean, fast. Oh, no. Okay, we are, we are building. It's definitely being built right now. Are they up here? Where are my workers? Are they all invisible? Are they snowmen? Probably. Then we need to build a slope. So while that's happening then, slopes. We can do a narrow slope, width 8 meters. Uh, intermediate slope, width 12. And then here comes Snow Boulevard, <laughs> 18. What, uh, slow, slope snaking amongst obstacles. Narrow. I feel like this is a comfortable width. Do you reckon we should kind of go with this? Now, how does it work? Slope must be connected to another slope. So is it a case if I just kind of put it there? Oh, that's okay. Oh, okay. So, right. Slopes. I assume I can create little points. Now, is how does this work then in the colors? So, I want to assume the site posts are there. From what I can remember from skiing, you have certain kind of symbols or colors for certain kind of um, slopes to tell you the difficulty of them. So if I brought this down and then brought it all the way through here, I'm trying to kind of create something like a little bit of a wiggle. And that is my slope. So I built this, the ski uh, lift anyway. I've got the slope up and running, so people could literally come in, get on the uh, the lift, go all the way up to here, and they can go straight down the slope, <laughs> which is not too bad. And that's our first one. That's actually kind of cool. So I have the space to maybe eventually have another one coming off going down that way. If we ever progress further up the mountain, I can have a slope that comes down and ends here. Then they can choose to hit the smaller slope or go back on the uh, ski lift to get back, if that is how it works. I'm thinking long term already. I'm already thinking long term. So we're waiting for this now to be built. Which the progress is doing pretty well. It's actually going quicker than I thought. Um, so we've got two volunteers. Do we? Do we need to hire them? It says two volunteers anyway. So, okay. Oh, ski lift is done. I mean, ski slope is done. Sorry. So, lift is done. Slope is done right. Oh, my goodness me. We have our very first set of skiers. Here's what I found. Leave me alone, Siri. I didn't say Siri. I said skiers. Uh, so, I've got to select the skier. I don't believe it. The first skiers have already arrived at your resort. Look at them lined up for the ski lift. Uh, they make their way up. Then whoosh. <laughs> okay, dude, calm down. So I selected them right, so you can kind of um, see what they're all about. Um, ski on two different red slopes. Oh, is this the activity list? Like what they want to do? Hmm, interesting. 
So we have people already lining up right now. Oh, actually, it's gone the slope. Is that my first two people going up? Oh my goodness me, it actually is. It actually is. So I gotta build two green slopes. What's this class does then? This is is this not a green slope? Oh no, I gotta build another one on top of it, don't I? Yeah. Right, what why are they, all these are just chilling? Resort feedback right now, they're already quite negative. Oh wait, hold on. So when it says the colour of their shirt, is that determined by what slope that they want to go on? Hmm. Interesting. Right, we'll do a little bit of fast forward then. And get our first skiers to the very top. Because I want to see them actually go down the slope. Right, here we go. Are they going to go simultaneously? Are they doing a little tandem right now? Enjoy it, guys. Way! This is cool. They're actually coming down the slope right now. Right, easy, guys. Don't want any uh, accidents happening. No accidents. Oh, a little bit of a bump over there, isn't there? Oh, look at this. Oh, my. They're racing. They're racing right down right now. Oh, my goodness. They're going, they're going quicker than I can actually kind of keep up with them. Oh, he fell over. You okay? Are you okay? <laughs> That's hilarious. So, select the green skier. Aim the camera at the green skier. So, set the green skier. Aim the camera at them. What does that even mean? Aim the camera at the green skier. You mean this? Ah. Oh, yeah, so you can pinpoint and watch them go down. Got ya, got ya. So I've got to build a second green slope then. So we'll come down. Uh, we'll do another intermediate one because it's nice and wide. Because I feel like that was a good wide length. Oh, damn. That's like a big drop going down there, isn't it? It might be okay, though. It might be okay. So, up and over. Ooh. Is there too much going on at that point? How do we feel about that? Do you reckon... I mean, it's still a green slope, don't get me wrong. But is there too much going on on that? Maybe. A lot of people are not very, very happy with me right now. But uh, we'll fast forward then. We'll try and get this done as quick as, as we can possibly get it done. So the construction's going up. Don't get too carried away. Your first victory could also be your last. Okay, appreciate it, dude. Appreciate it. The toughest challenge is still cup. Keep your skiers happy with the, uh, so they come back tomorrow. If they really are really happy, they might arrive in greater numbers. Right, okay. Right, okay. So, we've built our two slopes then. So there's a, a bunch that they can go to. Now they want me to build a high altitude food kiosk, build a soup bar, and build a sunglasses store as well. So this is ways in which we can potentially generate revenue. Now, I've just realized something. Do we even have revenue in this game, or is it all about just kind of making sure that our skiers are very, very happy? It's probably what it is. What's going on over here? Does somebody else fall over? Please tell me nobody else fell over. Um, so, a high altitude food kiosk. A uh, high altitude food kiosk. And I'll build it just there. Boom. A soup bar. And I'll get this just over here. Is it dangerous to have it on the exit? <laughs> okay, I'll get it here. And a sunglasses store as well. So we'll get that smack bang in the middle. There we go. So a couple of um, stores right now which they can get some food. Um, get some sunglasses so the sun is no longer in their eyes. Should be pretty good. So building wait, uh, waiting for builder. New volunteer at the resort. Nice. Nice. So... That's doing all right. Do we get any more statistics off this? Uh, target quality. Risk of falling is low. So I'm trying to see the differences between these two. This is more of a green level than that one. So that one would be considered more dangerous than this one, believe it or not. Interesting. It's very interesting. 
Oh, well, okay, so they're already... Oh, okay, a lot of them have got band wanting bandages, so we need to build, like, a little medical center, don't we, or something like that. But they're now getting their food. Everyone's getting their food, boys. Did you uh, spend some, some money? Got some sweet stuff? He's stocking up on energy. <laughs> I, there's no one working in there. What is this volunteer stuff all about? How do I get a volunteer? Do we have volunteers? It says two, but I feel like that's like no one's working there. Am I right in saying that? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to fast forward anyway. Try and get these other buildings done. I can't see any of my employees. It's like they're, apparently they're building all this, but we will never know. Right, how far is this away right now? That's only 100% done. Oh, everybody wants the sunglasses. Everybody wants the sunglasses right now. And then the soup. Everyone's going to want the hot soup. Delicious hot soup. That's better. Skiing takes energy, so your visitors must need some rest time to time. All right, basically just want to keep f fulfilling their needs. Since you oversee everything, you are the one to decide on priorities. Right, okay, let me play. So open the volunteers' window. Oh, there is an actual window for volunteers? Where's that? Decorations. Volunteers. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. Change the priority order. So, what would I want them to do? So, basically, oh, okay, so this priority order. So, food buildings, no, protection buildings, builders lodges at the very bottom. That's how we want to do it, right? Change the minimum staff. So, minimum staff for maybe food buildings. Is that how I do it? Uh, new volunteers regularly join the resort automatically and fill. Oh, okay. So they automatically fill the available slots. I was thinking, like, because it reminds me of um, Tropico. When you see, like, an empty um, head there and you have to kind of fill the slot. So they automatically fill the area anyway. Gotcha. Gotcha. So now it's a case of building a ski patrol lodge, a mechanics workshop, and build a snow groomer hangar. Open the safety layer. Right. So that is all the base of there. I don't want that. Maintenance, the ski patrol lodge. Oh, it's the rescue crew. Gotcha. So will they help the people who are um, falling over? Is that what happens? I need the mechanic workshop, which we'll get just there. And there we go. And then the build a snow groomer. Snow groomer hanger? What is that? Oh, wait, is that the thing that makes the snow smooth coming down? As in, like, you know when you go watch ice hockey and then the big machine comes out and flattens and smooths all the ice? Is that what this is? I think it might be. Right, I'm going to place that here. Right, there we go. There's a lot of stuff I'm now asking to be built. There really is. But this ski resort is not too shabby right now. Oh, people actually coming down here too. You guys enjoying it? You're having a whale of a time right now? You better be. There's so many people here though. So these two slopes are more for the green skier, aren't they? I do need to build maybe something a little bit more advanced for the blue skier. That would be the way to go forward, wouldn't it? So decoration. How do I extend this area though to bring it out? I'm sure it will tell me at some point. Yeah. All right, fast forward. Let's get it rocking and a rolling. So new volunteer in the resort right now. So two items being built. Repairs are in progress. The patrol lodge is good to go. And now we're just waiting for the snow groomer hangar. So we can make sure that those slopes are nice and smooth so no one's really falling over too much and um, breaking an arm or a leg. Because that is not good, is it? That is definitely not good. So, that's all done. Now we got to open up the safety layer. Is that a... Da, 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 what is a safety layer? Uh, ski safety. 
Ski area safety. Open safety layer. So, oh, layers are down here. So, um, safety. I made the list of all the incidents that can happen at your resort. With snow groomers, patrollers, and mechanics, the number drops from 3,600. Okay, so it drops like 700. And we can see... Right, you're, it's kind of... Uh, okay, right. It's different. Okay, right, sweet. Um, is it more incidents are happening here? Is that what it is? Oh. Okay. Okay. So, a skier has left feedback. Open the skier feedback window. Right, get rid of you. Can I, get, I can get rid of mood for now. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can kind of change all that stuff. So, feedback then. Where did I see feedback? Open the skier feedback window. Um, feedback. Ooh. Whoa! We are really drawing a crowd. If you keep on like this, you'll start attracting new skier profiles. So, right, okay. I I'm trying to read stuff, but this stuff keeps popping up. So open a reputation window. <coughs> I've just opened the feedback one. Can you give me time to read this stuff? So if you are a green skier, I've got amazing feedback. But that's because at the moment, the resort, it's kind of completely catered towards the green skier. Uh, reputation. Um, okay, so we, we, we almost have a good reputation. Reach reputation level one. So have I got to get that all the way up to here? Is that what it is? Holy moly. That seems pretty high. Um, display category details. Now, where's that? Display category details. Okay, apparently I did it. Skier feedback. Nice. And that's just about reaching that next level. So, how is it possible now for me to progress forward? So, skier feedback is up there. That's pretty. Oh, oh, research. Hold on, we can research stuff? Right, okay. So, it's either lifts, maintenance, or services. Lifts, can I research it right now? How do I, am I able, oh no, we need a research lab apparently. Can I build a research lab? Um, not, not yet, I believe. I'm not ready to build a research lab. Fine, didn't want to build one anyway. But uh, what can we do to kind of incorporate a little bit more slopage going on uh, to get more skiers on the scene? Um... And how do I extend more of this? Because I would like to bring this further down so I can then incorporate more slopes coming down as well. That's what I would really, really kind of like to know what to do next. Unless I took another kind of... Um... Is it too much to ask for... To put that there. And then take it up to there? Is that a bit too much? Ooh. Do you know what? No, because I feel like that is going to be a good slope coming down to end at that point. Right, let's kind of stop that for a second. Right, if we fast forward anyway. Because there's got to be something down with this feedback malarkey right now. This reputation stuff. So, my next... Skier feedback, or a next assessment, should I say, is happening in uh, five hours' time. Now, we have a very, very low fall rate. Ski patrol efficiency is 100%. Ski lift condition 98. Slope condition 99, which they do go up when we kind of slightly repair them. So that can only be like a really, really good thing for us. Um, so is it a case of just waiting for the assessment and then figuring out what they're saying and what they want and that can move us on to the next level? We have a Q problem. Oh, snap, hold on. We do. We have a serious problem right now. So how can I... 
how can I increase the amount of people going up the slope? Um. Oh, is it a case of we have to research some stuff to add some upgrades to make it quicker? Oh, maybe that's what I need to do to um. Once I get to this next reputation level, is what um, unlocks me the ability to start researching. Maybe that's what happens right now. But either way, we're pumping forward. So, we'll see what this brings. I'm hoping it kind of gets us to the next level. If not, then we have to put some serious groundwork in. We really are. So, it's about to happen then. It's counting down. And it's done. So, I... I okay. We really have to um, get this up to there, don't we? Yikes. We're in for a treat. Okay, then. So... If that's the case, then we want to start thinking about ways in which we can get more skiers, right? So, if I got to lift this two-person one, if I did build it, for example, here, can I take it up to... I can take it up to there. So, if I pull it here. There we go. So, build that next little kind of... Um, lift right now so that will allow us to kind of you know go down here more importantly kind of come off there go down here go underneath and end there so we can add like maybe try and push it to like a, the next level like maybe like a blue slope which will be pretty good the more I'm thinking about it right now can i actually delete it can i destroy it because i'm I got, I got like another idea if it would work out Right, I think it might be better to get it up to uh, there. I mean, I could take it all the way over to there, but it's too long. Now, if I had it here, there is then maybe potential. Right, if I put it there, there's maybe potential right now to have multiple, but I feel like up here is probably better. Right, I'm going to do it there. There's potential there to have a slope coming down here, ending there. Or do all slopes have to end at the base? I don't fully know. Because if I get it going down to there, then... I mean, that could be interesting as well, couldn't it? Right, okay, so... Do I go for a large slope? Let's go for this intermediate one right now. This is actually going to be quite a big drop. Oh, it becomes red. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> Those red folios are going to love it. Right. So that becomes a red drop. That's kind of basically saying, can you, can you go slightly uphill? <laughs> it's blocked by a rock. No, okay, it's not going to work that way. And I've got to go uphill to get past that. We can't do any terraining, can we? No. So we'll try again. And we'll come down. So this is majority now all blue. We have a bit of green chucked in. So that's an interesting one. It's solely to get them to there, and then they'll ski down the green slopes. That could be interesting. It's just a way for, like, maybe, like... But it doesn't take off these guys, though, because that whole slope there will be classed as a, a blue. Right? And then the blues, then, would have to go down the green ones. Well, that's, again, very interesting. Doesn't solve my issue with getting more greens on that one, but that's fine. So I want to make sure that this does work. So this person's going to go down it right now. And then will they go down? Yeah, they will get go down a green one. So they're getting like double your money. But then we'll have like another slope. Then we'll go for like a large slope. And then we'll bring these. 
Ooh, it's a bit red. Do you reckon they can carry the momentum to go up that little slope bit? Hmm. So what would that be classed as then? Because I, I I think it would be classed still as a blue. But I've got four slopes now on the go. So yeah, it does get classed as a blue. Right. So blues are already using it. So they've got two options. They can go if they want to get out in the big boy. There you go. Big boy is now available. But if they're thinking like maybe like a little bit of a small one, then hit a green one on the way down, get two slopes for the price of one, and then they go down this side, which will be pretty handy. Which is now really satisfying my greens and my blues. Uh, it's just my reds on the go right now. My reds are not happy. So for them. For them, I feel like I need to move these, these buildings. So that is a ski patrol. That is a mechanics workshop and a builder's lodge. So mechanics workshop, if I just placed it there. So mechanics workshop, destroy. Ski patrol is going to have to go just there. There we go. So I can destroy this one. So I'm, I'm hoping I can maybe use this as creating a little red route coming down. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? I think it would. Um, so they're now all built. So the Builder's Lodge. I think for this then we'll just kind of throw it just there. And then destroy you. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. I don't know why, but I feel kind of nervous to build this next one. Because I know it's going to be a red route. So, before we do them, reputation is still increasing, which is really, really good. So, if I got the lifts, got this one, and then bought it there, is it possible to go... So, it, it could go here. It could go to there, but it's, it all comes down to the altitude, doesn't it? It could go there. Oh, wow, it can go up to there. Too long. But we can build there. So that is probably my maximum. Wow. We, we are... Low key asking for trouble with this one, aren't we? We are literally low key asking for so much trouble with this one slope. Are we ready for this? I don't think we are. I don't think we are. That is a huge drop. A huge. I mean, it might even go to like some of the like the the. What's the other color? Is it is it black? Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> but it satisfies everybody at that point, right? So we'll get it done. We'll get it built as quick as possible. And then the only problem is then it's the green <laughs> ski lift. It's overloaded, boys. But I'm hoping upgrades in the future can kind of speed that up. So there we go. So we're going to go large on this puppy. And then we'll start here. Oh, yes. Oh my goodness me. Oh, it's getting very it's getting black at them points there, isn't it? Okay, not go underneath that. Now is that enough to be classed as a red slope? It should be. There's a bit of black there as well, so I don't know whether that'll be kind of put off from it. But then again, there's a bit of um, blue in some of the green ones. And that's completely fine, isn't it? Hmm. This is this is going to be a dangerous slope. This really is going to be a dangerous slope, boys. I don't know how I feel about this one. So, there we go. It is a red. Which satisfies all my red dudes right now. 
because they obviously they you know pretty much have a ski slope that they can enjoy. And it does go quite far, which I could bring this down and maybe end it <laughs> over there. So the reds then have to go down a green. I bet the reds find the green really boring, won't they? So this is sh mental, right? Does this person make it all the way down? Oh, is that like a little... Oh, my goodness me. Hold on. Play mode. Well, they did a little jump or is it just me? Are they doing a jump here? Or is it just me? I think it's just how they come over it, the crest. It made it look like they were doing some kind of jump or something like that. That was kind of crazy. Right, anyway. That gives everybody what they need. The greens have got two slopes. The blues have got two slopes. The reds have got one slope. But that one slope kind of is pretty good. So they can't complain too much about it. And it kind of separates them quite nice as well, doesn't it? It's just a shame the greens have to kind of wait so long. But, uh... Yeah. Hopefully we can research and get them upgraded. So, looking good. Looking very, very good right now. So it's just a case of waiting for my reputation then. So, I take it the blue is my current reputation. Green is the what I'm about to gain on the uh, next assessment, I assume. So we kind of push in our way slightly up. Not bad. And let me just quickly check it all again. So feedback now. Oh, hold on. The these guys here. Well, let's go for the blues. They would quite like um, to ski on two different blue slopes. Ski on. Oh, okay. So basically, they want a longer blue slope. The reds are asking for a longer red slope. And two of the slopes as well. So why what's I mean I take I think this is my longest blue one, isn't it? And that is a distance of 324. And they want 750 meters. Whew. My um my my ski thing is here. Don't go that far. They really don't. So they're going to have to kind of wait for it. <coughs> right. Uh, ski lift. Waiting for mechanic. So, yeah. We'll get there in time. So, reputation right now then. On this next assessment then. This is what should then push us to the next level. And then we can claim victory. For completing that goal. <coughs> and then hopefully it allows us then to start researching stuff too. I just feel like we need uh, more space at the bottom for more slopes. <clears throat> I feel like that's what we need. So, how long for this um, reputation? Oh, my reputation's going up right now for these, which is good. I think it just takes time then, doesn't it? So, next assessment in three and a half hours. Skier waiting for assistance. Oh, no, that's not good. Do we know where they are? Oh, no. That dude fell over big time over there. Yikes. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. So, <clears throat> one hour and 30 left to go. And then we can find out our fate on whether we are now reputation level one. So, here we go. The next assessment. And... Boom! Oh, wow. Okay, so we unlocked quite a lot of stuff. So, unlocks the research lab. Amazing. Two-person fixed grip surface toe. Not sure what that is. Four-person fixed grip chairlift. So, oh, okay. Sorry, I do know what it is. <clears throat> so, the fixed grip toe surface ones allowed to now to carry two people at once. Uh, the chairlifts, we can then have them carrying four people at once. We've unlocked the small fast food stand, the small shelter, the helmet rental kiosk, and the... What is that? The, the racquelette stand? I don't know how you even say that. 
Skier profiles have got the nervous newbies, the snow plows, and the bald adventurers. So things are about to get a whole lot interesting. So, now that your resort's reputation has increased, the whole world is opening up to you. So, I'll let you discover the new visitors. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Appreciate it. Right, get rid of you. Right, okay, get out of here. Play mode. Because so I feel like a lot of stuff right now is ready to rock and roll. So, lots of new things now going to be good for us. It's a case of, where do we start? So, obvious one would be starting with the research lab. Can I actually, like, literally pull it there? Oh, okay, that does work. Weirdly enough. Right. Okay, so we got the research lab there, which allowed me to start researching stuff, obviously. Services, research lab, ski lifts. So, when it says I got a four lifts, four person ski lift, does it mean... Ah, that's a point. Did it, well, it, did it actually mean... So, Nick, you can now research four-person ski lift, right? Is that what it meant? Two-person? Ah, okay. So, if I research load responsive grip, that will lead me on to having the ability to research the four-person fixed uh, grip chairlift. Which, because obviously these right now are carrying two at a time. So, if they could carry four at a time, they'll slowly start eating into the backlog that I've got. But also, making my ski slopes a little bit longer means it takes longer for them to come down. So the queues are being eaten before the next person becomes available to go on it, basically. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting right now. So we're just playing the waiting game. Waiting for that research to get done. <clears throat> well, the research building, anyway. So it's almost done. There we go. And now we press play. So, research side of it then. The load responsive grip. If I get this done first, uh, how long does it take to be researched? Okay, so it's actually climbing up right now. Interesting. So the heavier the carrier is, the tighter the grip will clamp to the cable. It's by far the best solution, in theory at least. So it allows us to now tow skiers an extra 5% gradient increase. So I can go a little bit steeper on my inclines right now, which is, uh, that's going to be helpful in the long run if you're trying to reach higher and higher mountains. So we have to go up a, a more of a 5% gradient increase. Now this is almost done. So does it unlock that or have I then got to research it? Okay, then I've got to research it. Um... Right, this is going to be interesting, isn't it? Okay, so we're definitely getting more people coming into the park right now because even the blues, we're getting more people waiting. So this will be interesting to see the changes it makes by having these additional um, seats in. There's a lot of people waiting about, isn't there? Let me pause. So this person... Is it, just, is, is it maybe like... That's the maximum of the queue, and then obviously these people can't go around, can't join until we add more chairs. Maybe. Maybe, who knows. Um, right, okay, so. That's now done, so can I just uh, modernize it? Uh, take uh, time out to give yourself a pat on the back. Good job, appreciate it. So, I've kind of killed it off for a second, I'll do the same to this. And I did it while I can. I I modernize that one, so I modernize them all at the same time, which is probably not the best idea. It now means nobody can ski. <laughs> uh, but once we've done it all, modernized it, we're able to get more people up at a time. So we'll have more people coming down the slopes at a time as well. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So this is at ninety percent right now, almost done. There we go. It's almost done. Boom. So all the greens will make their way over. And obviously, four at a time. So it'll take a while for go, you know, for it to go through the backlog of people that we've got. But four at a time is going to be a big help. 
So, lots more people coming down. The blue one's almost done as well. But like I said, it'll take a while to, to kind of cut through that backlog. And we might, to be honest with you, we might not ever cut through the backlog. It could be a case of we just need to kind of keep increasing the ability to move more people fast. But we can now do the blue backlog. So I think the blue one will be shifted first. Because I don't think there was that many people waiting as opposed to the green. But you never know. What's something else that I could research that could help us out? So light work pole attachment. So that would... Oh, that's for ski toes. We're doing a chairlift, aren't we? Um, ski toes. This is all ski toe stuff. Uh, maintenance, snow tires. Increases all maintenance buildings move speed. Repair training. Or oh, we could do a, full, a, a small fast food stand. That would be interesting. And a small shelter. So they can be sheltered from the elements. Or is that a case if they're coming down they're halfway down a slope and like a, an avalanche hits or really bad snow conditions, they can have a little bit of shelter before coming down? It's probably what it is. Yo, look at the backlog for the blues right now. That's pretty much borderline gone. So that's really helped us out for the blue side of things. But the green? Not so much. The green, not so much. Now, it could be a case of maybe I, in, the, in the future I build another kind of set of green slopes somewhere else. But it will take a bit of time to kind of even get to that kind of stage. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. So, have we built our little fast food joint right now? Small fast food. Uh, it's a case of where do I now pull it? I mean, I could pull it up at the back here. I assume that they can kind of get to it from there. It's just assumptions. Do you know what? That green backlog is actually going down a bit. So maybe it just took a little bit of time to get to it. Maybe that's what it was. But then again, if I get more people coming into the into my resort right now, it's just going to overload it all over again. So I don't know. Well, that's almost done anyway. So can people actually get to it? That's the question. Yes, they can. They can get over to the fast food restaurant. Very, very good. Happy with that. Right. I think things are going pretty well. So, my next thought process would be... Is how would I create more slopes? Is it a case of we try and use these chair lifts to get from point A to point B a bit easier? Maybe. Skier feedback. We've got these bald adventurers right now and these kind of um, snow plows and these nervous newbies who also want to um, be pushed a little bit further. Reputation is going to take a while before it does increase. So if anyone's got any tips then for how I could ultimately do a little bit better, let me know in the comment section down below. But for now, guys, we are going to end it here. Hope you did enjoy this uh, fun little episode. If you want to turn it into a series, then please let me know in the comment section down below. But until next time, I will see you all soon. So, good. <laughs>